about making Greek style lamb with potatoes in the oven. So uh, why don't you start by explaining Absolutely. to me this looks wonderful. Let me tell you yes. what, mm -hmm. two shows in a day because I was thinking earlier, how can we start this? And mm -hmm. I was thinking to myself, well, the one thing that people definitely do is eating. Mm -hmm. You have to have breakfast, you have to have lunch, you have to have dinner. Mm -hmm. If it's in the same day, which well, always in the same day. Mm -hmm. So here we are, we go. Mm -hmm. Lamb chunk with potatoes in the oven. Totally Greek style, mm -hmm. totally Euro style. Mm -hmm. Because as I said earlier, and I will repeat again and again, I really don't follow recipes anymore. When I was younger, I would buy these books, I would go to cooking mm -hmm. lessons, I would uh, exchange with my friends information, I will sit down, stand, talk, try. Mm -hmm. Now, not anymore. I'm a little bit too old for that. So, it's all by eye, it's all by taste, because I must admit, I do have the taste and the eye to fix that. And that's to the right way. Stuff. That's a totally yeah. right way. You know, just go with your gut instinct. Mm -hmm. You know, I never measure, measure myself, you know, the salt, everything, it's, it's, right. it comes with an instinct. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, this I prepared last night because a lump has to be prepared either overnight so it can soak into the juices and do the preparation marination mm -hmm. and or at least three, four hours ahead of time. Mm -hmm. This is mandatory. I mean, well, some people can do it quickly, but I don't think it tastes mm -hmm. or, uh, as, um, as good mm -hmm. as it does when you, uh, you do it. What so, is in here, you know? This is actually, this is garlic, fresh garlic mm -hmm. that you will bake with a lamb dish mm -hmm. and then when you finish it and you serve it, mm -hmm. it's so soft and melty, it's like butter and you put it on fresh bread mm -hmm. and it's absolutely so delicious, unbelievably delicious. So this is, you don't only have to do this with a lamb, you can do it anytime, mm -hmm. even for lunch and dinner, provided you like uh, garlic and your friends around and family eat garlic as well. Mm -hmm. But garlic is good for you, so the Greek cooking is mandatory. Actually, what is Greek cooking? Mm -hmm. Fresh, wonderful olive oil, uh, uh, onion, garlic, salt, pepper, oregano. Mm -hmm. That's about it. If you know how to mix and make these all ingredients together, you get the best taste ever. So what okay. next? Christina, I wanted to teach you a trick. You may know it already, but I learned it from my Sri Lanka housemaid in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. For the lemons to produce the best juice possible, mm -hmm. you have to take the lemon, they're all washed, mm -hmm. you, 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 yeah, squeeze them. Squeeze it around so mm -hmm. the skin, roll them. you yeah. roll it out and the skin becomes very soft. Mm -hmm. So when you do that mm -hmm. and you cut it, you really, 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 we do All that in Indian uh, cooking as well. Excellent. Yeah. So you know about it, mm -hmm. but a lot of people don't know. It's oh, a no, great opportunity. You see, idea. Yeah. when, you, uh, when mm -hmm. I cut it now, the mm -hmm. juice even pulls out. You mm -hmm. see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So this is something I really appreciate from, I learned from my maid. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is uh, Christina's wonderful way mm -hmm. of uh, squeezing the lemon. Mm -hmm. We'll put it here so you guys can see how it works. These lemons are really, really juicy. Uh, it looks like it. And when you it squeeze them even better wonderfully. here. Mm. Do you use uh, the zest? Absolutely. Particularly when I made the, the Vasilopita, the, the king's uh, thing today, absolutely. in most... How about in the lamb itself, no? I, of course. It's oh. mandatory. That's why I'm preparing it now. Okay. How about the zest in the lamb? I never done this before, but okay. you know what? Why not? At the end of the day, why not? The, I mean, it's a great me, idea. It is the best of a lemon is in its skin because it has those oil oils, the beautiful aroma. But you need to be very careful not to get the white part of the correct because it becomes inside. bitter then. Bitter, bitter. Then. But but you know, just a couple of like this. Do you, you know? Put it there would be great, but it's your we recipe. Made, we so. made, why not? We exchange ideas <laughs> and we <laughs> learn from each other. You know, <laughs> when I'm in Porto Heli, because we have our own lemons, what mm. I do, like I do with the oranges, and thank mm. you for reminding me now because the idea came to my mind, I utilize, I use this, mm. I boil them and then caramelize them and I make mm. and dip them in chocolate and I make the most beautiful treat. 
-hmm. I give to all the neighbors and friends, and it's a wonderful, not just Christmas gift, mm -hmm. but a gift for other year, because, mm -hmm. they, and they're organic, so it's a great mm -hmm. opportunity. I don't like to waste anything when what is concerned no, no, food. No, no, no. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I don't like to throw food away. I don't like to waste any possible. Mm -hmm. I preserve anything possible uh, to utilize uh, all the food and all the food items. Okay. We'll put it here because we may use it later on. Mm -hmm. So, how I prepare the lamb um, uh, sauce? Okay, mm -hmm. the marination. Mm -hmm. Most important, like I said earlier, weak olive oil. Absolutely, mm -hmm. totally. If the olive oil is not good, please don't cook. Right. This is mandatory. That's yeah, right. I mean, if you are to cook Greek way, you must use olive oil. And you know, I'm very happy now because most of the world mm -hmm. has learned about olive oil, and even the Indians, you know that, mm -hmm. as an Indian, mm -hmm. lots of uh, companies export to India now or Indians come to Greece and get a good eight olive oil, Chinese. So it's wonderful that our traditions and our food um, products, our food ingredients are spread all over the world because they're, they're good. And uh, mm -hmm. they say it like some other nationalities. I think the, the Indians also because a lot of them are very Yeah, and in fact, uh, we grow olive oil yeah. uh, in uh, Greece. So, yeah, we bring our You own have your own olive oil. Yes. Like you have your own red and white <laughs> wines. Yes. These are the Mediakis wines from Crete. Right. What do you think about that? This That's is cool. what makes a difference <laughs> because we may use olive oil for all our foods, but the wine is a mandatory accompaniment. Yes. <laughs> okay, salt. Usually, I use a little bit more salt than I should, but what can I do? I'm Greek, I like my salt. I love it too. Indians you like, like too? the spices and you know the, the taste is bold. Okay. We don't believe in shying away from the yeah. flavors. Lemon. So go for it, my friend. Lemon. Oregano from our uh, field in Porto Celi. Fresh oregano, <laughs> hand-picked. <laughs> Organic, 100%. So this time when I went back to Crete, I went up on the mountains and, you know, picked up a lot of oregano myself. Yes. And it's a beautiful, you know, when you go into the field, the entire... Uh, smells beautiful. Field is smelling beautifully in the Ron, mountains. Ron, would you like to help me with uh, cutting the garlic, which is also mandatory, because you are very good at that. <laughs> yeah, and of course, <laughs> can you do that? Delegate it, because I don't want to touch it without wearing gloves. So right. anybody else? I don't mind. Doing my hands are hard working. Yeah. <laughs> Well, my husband is expert at, uh, at uh, cleaning the garlic. So I, I love him for that. I really do love him for that because I don't want my nails to smell of garlic for four days. So thank you so much. I can't think of a better thing for my hands to smell <laughs> of. And, and you know how and, you and, take... and, and the sticky olive, I mean the garlic oil you oh, get on there. You know, I guarantee you don't know that. You know how to take garlic smell out of your mouth? You no. chew on parsley right after. Really? No gum or anything in the world. You Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. It's true. You see how many things we learn from each other today? So the, the, only, the only problem, sometimes when I do this, mm -hmm. I mean, the stuff just flies. As can, long as it doesn't can shoot, come shoot, can shoot all over. Here. So listen, if you get hit, yeah, blame it on your own. Wrong. Blame wow. it on your own. <laughs> Wow, excellent. So here we go. Good job, Ron. Good way to learn everything. Mm -hmm. Ron is really good at this. Do you need a knife? I don't need a, a knife for what? Well, because I need to clean. The, you're going to clean the. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Amazing, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Terrific. This stuff just peel. I mean, you've, you've, you've shattered the dry husks yeah. on the garlic. So it's not a, it's not a big deal. And, and if it's. Some of these are already kind of juicy. I mean, it just breaks apart. So Ron, when I, usually I don't have you in my kitchen, right? And I <laughs> no, need to no. do this. So what I do is I take a bottle, put all of them like this, just open them like parts, mm -hmm. and vigorously shake the bottle, right? But, uh, like a plastic too. bottle? Yeah, yeah anything, just mm. a container. And then after doing it for maybe a minute or so, you'll find all the husk is mm -hmm. out and you just have only the... 
You know, I prefer to do it fresh. I never buy uh, already cleaned uh, garlic in no. the shops. I, no. I don't, no, you don't ever know how long. I so do it, sometimes, just those, because it's, you know, if you're cooking a lot, if it... Oh, that one's a bad one. Cheers. Mm, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just convenient. Mm. I found some places that... Remediac is wine. I mean, you guys hit it right. Mm -hmm. God bless you. That's fantastic. We'll make ourselves very welcome to Crete. Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody who is thinking of going to Greece should visit Crete. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, if you ask yeah. me, that's the jewel of Greece. If you haven't yeah. already, you're all yeah. past over. Okay. I want to ask you a question because I'm from India and we're not a big meat eater. Correct. I was raised a vegetarian and then now I learned a little bit of that. So what cut of this meat is this? Is a leg of lamb, and mm -hmm. I'm so happy you told me that because mm -hmm. these are also leg of lambs. Mm -hmm. But this is shank, my, you said. Well, it's the same thing. It's, it's a leg of lamb. These mm -hmm. are lamb, leg of lambs, also small one. It's okay. a small leg, mm -hmm. small lamb, obviously, because they didn't have anything at HB mm -hmm. bigger than that. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday morning so i need to tell you this yes. god bless my mother saw yes. if she saw me by this size yes. she will turn in her Ron, grave Ron is in trouble it looks like she, <laughs> she, yeah that's why he's walking off <laughs> see in greece honey we don't cook this we don't buy a potato we don't buy a, a, a pepper we don't buy a tomato we buy cases <laughs> and i grew up not only because i was fortunate to have that because my grandparents... You know, you are larger than that. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. Literally, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> but I grew up with a lot of my, uh, wealth of that because my grandparents were farmers mm -hmm. and every weekend, every Christmas, every Easter, every summer, we would spend it mm -hmm. in the village, in the Leferes, in the Macedonia. Mm -hmm. And uh, we grew up with a lot of wealth like this, organic, fresh, and we had mm -hmm. a lot. And we served a lot. So my mother, God bless you, Mamaka, uh, she would turn if you saw the size of this. But mm -hmm. anyway, today we're better, so we got a bigger one. Are okay? you going to clean some of it on the top? No, no, I will not clean anything. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to kill this guy. And mm -hmm. I'm going to stuff him up with garlic, okay? okay? Deep into his core of his existence or non-existence, <laughs> right? So he is really going to get garlicky up. Yeah, he's going to get that loving treatment from Absolutely, Hero. yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Do you want me to help you anyway? No, no. Come on, you said you don't want the garlic in your hands yeah. right now. Forget <laughs> it. This one should also have the bone. But you know what, guys? This is America. We mm -hmm. get what we best we can, all right? We mm -hmm. can be choosy. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say beggars can be choosers, but anyway. What is Next this? time we'll buy from Phoenicia. Hey, what is this? This is... The this bone. Is the continuation of his bone. Okay. And frankly, I like to have bone in my meat because frankly, I like bone much more than meat. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Even, the, you know, the fish, I like the bone. That's a Greek way. Some people hate it, but I don't. And, you know, I've taught a lot of people around me to like it. So it's good. Okay. Dig into his body. This guy has a lot of meat. Mm -hmm. He's very. So this is uh, on the top that uh, layer that uh, I see. Is, I'm is not going to remove this. Yeah, the fat will will go in, uh, down oh, as you. Yeah. So the juices will be really delicious okay. for the mm -hmm. marination I will prepare. So is the lamb meat a little gamey in the sense? Does it have a stronger smell than chicken? For sure, it's an acquired taste. Not for us being born Greeks and but, born correct. with it. Because for me, right, who was, I was raised in a vegetarian, vegetarian said, yeah. and then after coming to the U.S., I learned to eat a little bit of chicken and some seafood. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get acclimatized to the lamb and the goat and some of these red meats. I still don't eat, um, of course, beef, as you know, well, being from India. Right. But is this, how does it compare to a chicken uh, meat? Oh, it's definitely heavier meat and it's definitely more... Uh, more, uh, what's the word, potent, more uh, potent. strong. It's strong. heavy. It's, it's heavy. heavy. It's, it's strong. Heavy. It's, it's heavy. It's stronger. What? But if it's cooked right, it's delicious. Yeah. Yeah. So is that why you're putting so much, so many garlic? Like, it, you really want to counterbalance its I don't strong like smell? Well, you, you want to pair it, right, with a good wine sometimes. Mm -hmm. that, okay. That um, after you've eaten lamb, sometimes you need to clean your palate you feel mm -hmm. that that mm -hmm. need mm -hmm. and, and a good white wine mm -hmm. will, will do that white wine? 
Retsina in Greek, actually. Retsina, So after, but when you eat, you pair it with red wine. You Not can, necessarily. In well, Greece, yeah, normally, yeah, yeah, it's red wine with red, red meat. And red meat, yeah, right? <clears throat> yeah. You know, for my daughter's wedding, mm. uh, 10 years ago, we had nine lambs, uh, goats on the spit. The third day of the wedding, we had nine of them on the spit. Those make the mm. best uh, mm -hmm. Easter. Uh, we do that Greek, every month. Of course, yeah. because you do it here yeah. in your house. Every, yes. Every well, Yanis is Greek, a Greek, and also you're part Greek, so you know all, all of it. So we're you know, explaining to our audience, but you know best. No, but 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 you know the beauty of my life is it incorporates the greatness of two great and ancient cultures. Yeah. I mean yeah. the Indian culture and. Greek culture and the American. Well, and they're doing it in America, in, where you can yeah, flourish. In America. No. Yeah. yeah, and I think, I think, I think, I really am grateful for the beauty of this life and what I get to experience. I go to India. I experience the greatness of Indian culture. I go to, yeah. uh, you know, Greece, and we have mm. home in Greece and Crete, and I get to experience. But fundamentally, Ro and Ron and Yanni, I similar. feel that. Greek and Indian cultures are fundamentally similar in their hospitality, in their... The yeah. way of thinking and behaving. Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. sentiment is exactly because yeah. Ron and I have been going to Italy for all 40 years. And like mm -hmm. you said, mm -hmm. the exposures to the world. I mean, we were fortunate. I met my American husband. Mm -hmm. I went to America. We lived and worked in Saudi Arabia for many, many, many years. And all the Middle East. So I acquired the whole world mm -hmm. in my mind, in my heart, and my soul. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes us so unique. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we want to share. Because if this may be Greek, but if I put the um, rosemary, mm -hmm. uh, it makes a little bit, uh, you know, international in some ways because the rosemary is not as much used in Greece. Really? Oregano wood, yes, oregano wood. Mm -hmm. But and again, in lamp in America or uh, it's you know, rosemary, rosemary, mm -hmm. and also it is mint. They do mint sauce with it in Greece, unheard of. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean. So it's a little, it's a mixture of uh, cultures with a mixture of tastes and mixtures. What applies to all of us in a different way from whatever we learned. Okay, so let's let's move this guy over here a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, well I have we've got to eat tonight. Okay, so thank you. I'm sorry, but <laughs> okay. I put a little bit of water. Okay, how much? Just like a couple of. Oh yeah, you have a quite a bit of it. Maybe right. about uh, one half a cup or one cup or I can add, in the meanwhile, I can add a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I already put a little bit of olive oil on it, all the spices are not. Mm -hmm. And I cover it, actually usually like to cover it like that, in the beginning. Because mm -hmm. this will need about an hour, an hour, 15 minutes. We'll see it in the process, okay? To tell you the truth, I don't like to use aluminum paper very much. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's not good for the body. But, and rarely do I do that, mm -hmm. but sometimes you have to. Yeah. Okay, we'll seal it quite well. I already heated the oven to 425. All right. 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 And after I check the, la the, the meat and I see it's cooked, then I will remove the aluminum paper so it will crust. And maybe I will even turn the meat. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put it in the oven now. Enough. Yeah. You know, we must make sure that every people, everybody understands that we have to wear meat and so we don't burn ourselves yeah, and no. create an accident, okay? Absolutely. Yeah. And the oven is at 425. It's preheated and uh, in, in you know, Celsius, it's around 216 to 220. 220, I would say, yeah. to start, because later on we may have to raise it a little bit, okay. to, you know, to develop the crust and the crispiness on, this, on the And then on the at top. that time you will remove probably the... The aluminum silver. paper, of course, okay. yeah. yeah. Excellent. Oh. So, you know, you, I saw you poke holes into this lamb and then put the garlic, the garlic in, and you can be as generous and as crazy as you want with the garlic Absolutely. or as less crazy as you want with the garlic so you have a set all of these beautiful things here so tell me and what you else? don't have you don't have to put garlic if people don't eat garlic i mean it doesn't it will not restrict you from eating the lamb mm. if you don't want to put garlic mm -hmm. as long as you have the ingredients that mm. marinate it because mm -hmm. this will, if, when they stay overnight or a few day, or a few hours, mm -hmm. they will marinate into the bone, into the skin. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it's not necessarily important, but it is for us. And mm -hmm. a little bit of pepper, of course, you know. Okay. And I need to pepper. get a 
refill of my wine, but I'll do that after. All right. <laughs> now, what do I do? And we were saying earlier about the mixture of cultures, okay? Mm -hmm. In America, mm -hmm. I have to make it a little bit American, run. Mm -hmm. You see, this is what I learned from my husband, something I really love, mm -hmm. the, the Creole, which is salt with hot pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna put much, it's yeah, don't put much because my husband is totally spice hours. Okay, and then I want to put them. <laughs> but if you want to spice up things a little bit, uh -huh. you can use some of that. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. okay. So, Christina, my yeah. hands are my best tools. That's okay. what I do. I, I usually like to wear a pair of gloves, but I never done ahead. it. I never done it before. Yeah. I don't wear gloves even when I wash this. It's okay. the old-fashioned Greek way. <laughs> so. I'm saturating oh this beautiful God, guy. Oh my so much of love in your hands. Oh, yes, caress, caress, massaging me in. <laughs> <laughs> Let him have it in the holes here, inside the pockets of the garlic. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Oh, this guy is going to be so help? delicious. He's going to be so delicious. Can I pop this a little bit? Yeah, why not? Absolutely. All the holes inside. You see how nice and... And it's very firm. generous. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, I cook generously. Mm -hmm. I cook usually for more than a hundred people, but never mind. <laughs> like you do too in India. My yeah, that's a common thing between yeah. Indian and Greek cultures that mm -hmm. we like to cook. We like to have friends, yes. neighbors, everybody come eat. Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's the beauty of these that's two cultures. The melt it in, melt it in, mm -hmm. put it in, put it in. Oops, don't pop out. You know, uh, when I w watch you do this, mm -hmm. I'm already thinking of ways to make this a little more Christina's and Indianized, but I will do that later on. Okay. But there are so many things, little things that I can do here to make it a little bit Indian, indo gracian okay. if you will. In a few yeah. hours, in a couple mm -hmm. of hours, we can turn it around or mm -hmm. take the juice and pour it again over mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. to, to keep... Uh, uh, you know, the to keep marination pairing. process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to keep marinating, yes. I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, so that's the lemon uh, juice that you collected. Well, Christina, if mm -hmm. you want to be more elegant, mm -hmm. you can always use the brush to brush uh, it in, want, okay? I, I am the brush <laughs> kind of person, right? You are? I'm the gloves and the brush kind of person. Okay, well, so the, you don't have to use the finger stand. That's no, another way to do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. You see, there's so many possibilities. Mm -hmm. I mean, not all of us are comfortable doing yeah. that. And, you know, I yeah. mean, I found, figured out that, that that works for me. So, yeah, there you go, go for it. You yeah. see how much easier it is? It's fine. So, okay. Do you know, don't you need more lemon? In a minute, when I do the potatoes. Okay. At the end, you put more so the potatoes can also absorb the taste. So the potatoes okay. are the starch that Greeks are using, right? It, and very important. Mm -hmm. You know, it accompanies most of our foods. Mm -hmm. You have the rice, we have the potatoes. We have the rice too, but not in the capacity of you guys do the rice. Oh yeah. Potatoes are a mandatory thing in Greece, absolutely. All right, and potatoes are good for you. I don't use the pillar for the potatoes, Christina. I use a knife mm -hmm. because I, I cut everything. Yeah, I've seen my ma mother-in-law, she's 86 years old, yeah. Greek woman, and she is using knives. And do you, do you have those those knives that I gave you with a plastic handle? I think that's the best oh, one right that here, she uses. Right here. So she gave me a set of them as a present and I uh -huh. use them. It's All safe. the time. But, uh, well, you know, I, I found well, uh, Peel it to be more in effective. Greece, we're not accustomed to eat the peel, and in America, there sometimes they offer the peel or the baked potatoes to the peel. I like this not to have any black mm -hmm. at all. So, I if there's any black, I just squeeze the mm -hmm. I put one more so you can see it even better. You know, mm -hmm. that is irregular, but you know, while without wasting much of it, I will. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't Did know. You um, the potatoes were consider, are considered a vegetable in Indian cuisine. Mm -hmm. That had my husband laugh for 10 minutes when mm -hmm. I told him that. We don't consider that as a starch, but we consider it as a as vegetable. A vegetable. Yeah. Well, it's a basic and food. In the southern side of India, we don't use so much of potatoes. We do, but north, we use a lot of potatoes. A lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, of course I will wash that. Now, if you want to prepare your potato soup or much earlier, mm -hmm. you can clean them and put mm -hmm. them in cold water in a pan so they don't turn black because they don't look mm -hmm. good if they're black. Okay, this is some sure many of you know that. Mm -hmm. And I will uh, be careful. No, you, know, you see, no, well, that's how I use my fingers. I hardly <laughs> ever use the cutting board. Yeah, I don't mean that this you have very, to do it like it that. It is a very quick way of doing it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, you see. We do the potatoes usually like that. If they're round, small, we use the whole potato. But here, I just piece, piece them, quarter them, mm -hmm. kind of, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you put them around in the dish. And is carrots... Um, mandatory? Because, mandatory, because yeah. I've seen my mother-in-law do this dish, but she's... Not using carrots. Yeah, carrots. Well, I like to use because of the coloring. Uh, the, yeah, the color is very important as well as the, the vitamins, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's not like a mandatory or no. a very uh, big thing, but no. it's some improvisation that you have done. I, I do it yourself. because, you know, we always feed the kids and, you know, mm -hmm. and I look out, it's good for the eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll, I'll clean one more so I can show you the process. And for this, I do use the scraper because mm -hmm. it works fantastic. Mm -hmm. In the old days, mm -hmm. we used to do like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you remember that, Yanni? My mother in law do. still does that. She still does that. Mm -hmm. Well, we didn't have the scraper then, so life has become a little bit more convenient and with all these accessories in the kitchen utensils. Okay, all right. Usually I will like, because it will cook easier, mm -hmm. I like to slice it in half. Mm -hmm. And guys, um, I think I will use usually cutting the board. board yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll use you the know, other one. <laughs> your level of expertise is way beyond. <laughs> okay, well, you can use the cutting board, but yeah. you know. Me, I don't know how to do it. I don't want to. <laughs> okay. You're trained and you, you, you achieved uh, a level of proficiency in this era. Yeah, well, <laughs> I wouldn't call it proficiency, but definitely just uh, they are bringing training. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, the gar oh, uh, earlier I you said the garlic. the garlic. Yeah. No, put the garlic. But what I do also in this particular dish, mm -hmm. and I mentioned earlier, if you remember, mm -hmm. I will take. A couple of pieces of garlic, of course, depending on how many people you have. Oh, you okay. can have as many garlics as you oh, can. Oh, yeah. In yeah. I mean, I think how far it's, it's all about garlic. And when you spread your fresh bread, it's something unbelievable. Yeah. You don't need butter, you don't need yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. So you made a nice pouch right there. Yeah, it's also nice decoration. Mm -hmm. We will put. Uh, the rosemary. What you can do, we've, we've washed this already. Mm -hmm. You can put the rosemary mm -hmm. in the lemon. Yeah, in the lemon or the mm -hmm. olive oil, like I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what do you serve uh, with this? I know it's a complete meal by itself. It has starch, it has meat, it has all kinds of flavor, everything. So. Tzatziki. 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 Is the yogurt, lemna, yeah. uh, the heavy yogurt cucumber, mm -hmm. olive oil sauce, a and, a dill. Greek, and a Greek salad on the side. Absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's mandatory and fresh bread. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You don't need much else, but the, the tzatziki is mm -hmm. definitely a must. Mm -hmm. And so is a Greek salad, so which we will do in due time. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, I have a link somewhere for the tzatziki. I've got a good recipe from my mother, Greek mother-in-law, so... Oh, I have to give you the recipe because my trick is I put a little bit of vinegar inside. Oh, you do? Oh, mm. the vinegar makes a whole difference. You want me to tell you the recipe? Oh, absolutely, go for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't have the ingredients, do we? Uh, maybe, I mean, I'm tzatziki is a very simple recipe, we can definitely mm. do that. And by the way, um, tzatziki is not uh, unfamiliar to Indians. We call it raita. Mm -hmm. Raita is a much beloved dish which is eaten all over India because as you know Indian food is quite 
you know, spicy, right? Yeah. So we always like down. to, you know, take spoonfuls of raita in between to cool our palate down. Right. So it's a very, you know, common uh, recipe and a common ingredient we do as well. Oh, I love how it smells. It's beautiful. Mm, the rosemary like also the Rosemary makes... and the lemon yes, and yeah. the garlic. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's great. And, you know, I, I you know, even though I am not, a, I'm not raised eating uh, yeah. like red meat, mm -hmm. I'm really tempted to taste it. Well, it's fantastic. I hope you do. Yeah, I, I will. I don't you know, want to be responsible for changing your habits or your beliefs. But you know what, honey? How mm. can you resist this beauty? Yeah, this is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> How can you resist the beauty? Yes. So, what else do we have here? The rosemary. It's not just for nice decoration. Besides, you will absorb. Mm -hmm. You will absorb the... So, you're going to... Sit this overnight. Definitely. And of course, I can add more potatoes. Depends how many people you have to bake potatoes. Uh, yeah, and I onions. So forgot the onions. Oh, let me get your onions. Please, then. give me a big onion or two so I can put in it. Because also, the blending of the smells of the vegetables makes such a big difference in the whole um, uh, absorption of the, of the marination. Yeah. Yeah, to the lamb. And you know what? This marination, guys, is not only for lamb. You can do the same with chicken or even fish. You know what I mean? It, Christina, you can do the same marination. Basic, olive oil, uh, salt, pepper, lemon, oregano, and garlic. You can this do it. Is the, this is a very yeah, fundamental yeah, yeah. Thing. Okay, absolutely. I used to do it, but I never did the onion, but I think it's a nice touch. Yes, I do. I do. One or two. One, one is be fun to find it. You don't chop this onion, you put it half because when it cook, it, it cooks and you eat it, it's so delicious. In my kitchen, Christina, I never cook out of uh, cans. It's always no, fresh. Always, that is a always, total always no -no yeah. for an Indian yeah. kitchen as well. Never. Exactly. Except for one ingredient that... Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is one and... Uh, the red beans, um, canned red beans, we use it and I, I make some very beautiful recipes out of it. But other than that, we don't yeah. use it. I hate that. I can believe that people, when I go to the supermarkets, particularly in America, in Greece or not, maybe the young people now, they want to make their life a little bit more convenient and fast. New Year's night, January 1st, 2022. It's a fantastic night and a fantastic New Year's Eve. Thank you both, you Ron and you for coming to our home and sharing the company. And today we're very happy to share um, the beautiful land, leg of land that you know cooked and learned a lot today. Thank you so much. Thank you very oh, so thank you so much for hosting for, us. Mm -hmm. For and having us here on this special Absolutely. Uh, on this incredible occasion, the first day, last night, and the first day of... This is a repeat video. occasion. We <laughs> <laughs> should do it every year. Uh, I wish you were all here to enjoy this magnificent, delicious food, because it is really delicious. Oh, you can I smell it. it. You yeah. can smell it's it. It's wonderful. It's 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 overwhelming. Garlic. God bless you all. Bon appetit. God bless us all. Kali Oryxi. Bon appetit. And you know what? I do not follow the traditions of red or white with meat or, or fish. I drink what I like and white is my drink. So, Christina, for us, Yamas. for us, for us, for us, for us, for us, for us, for Ladies and gentlemen, we have to eat now.